my God in whom I trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be safe from my enemies. Lord Jesus, would you help me? I need you. Lord, I feel like there's giants of fear and failure just staring down at me, waiting to crush me. Other, I will not worry about tomorrow or all of its questions. Father, I will just trust you and I will be waiting for treasures in heaven. My treasure lies. My eyes are on you. You are my dear life. Though I may not wear the garments of princes, you are my portion. You are my portion. For you clothe me in your righteousness. Sit at the table of kings You are my portion You are my everything For you feed me from the abundance of your hand The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Psalm 34, verse 17 to 18. We know that through our suffering, God is shaping our character, teaching us the value of hope, and making us more reliant on Him. Stand that it can be challenging to remain positive during these trying times. It may seem impossible to imagine how your circumstances could possibly improve. Our struggles and hardships serve a purpose and God will use them for our ultimate good. So, my friends, let us hold into hope in the midst of suffering. Let us trust that God is working all things for and that God is with us in our pain and He will never leave us or forsake us. May we find comfort in knowing that we are being refined and built up in His love, and that joy will come in the morning. Dear God, I come before you today with a heavy heart, consumed by sadness and grief. I pray that you would lift the weight of this burden from my shoulders and replace it with a peace that only you can provide. I come to you today with a heavy heart, filled with pain that I have been trying to hide for far too long. Lord, you know the depths of my soul and the pain that I have been carrying around for so long. The pain that I have been keeping to myself has become unbearable and I feel like I am suffocating under its weight. I have been struggling to find the courage to share my pain with others. Lord, I confess that I have been holding on to my pain for far too long. I have been trying to keep it hidden from others. I have been holding on to my pain for so long that it has started to make me feel like giving up on life. Lord, I am in desperate need of your help. Help me to trust in your love and your grace, and to believe that you are always with me. Help me to see the value in sharing my pain with others, and to find the courage to do so. Lord, I ask that you would surround me with your love and your peace and that you would give me the strength to persevere through this difficult time. May your loving kindness and compassion flow over me, bringing light and hope to my soul. Help me to trust in your plan for my life, for your strength to get through each day, one step at a time. Help me to focus on the positive things in my life, 
and to remember that you are always with me, even in the midst of my deepest sorrow. Please comfort me with your love and grant me the courage to face each new day with renewed hope and faith. May I find the strength to persevere and the patience. Lord, I trust in your goodness and mercy, and I know that you will never abandon me. And I thank you for your unending love and grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Romans 5, verse 3 to 5. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings. Because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame. Because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us.